To compose a new email on iPhone or iPad, we need to tap the New Mail button. On iPad, this exists in the upper right corner of the display. On iPhone, we can find it in the lower right. Tap and a new message panel slides up. Then we can start entering an address or name in the To field here. As I enter the name Mike, saved contacts and addresses that I previously sent emails to will pop up as options. To send to one of these, just tap to add them into the To field. To enter a different email address, just keep typing it. You can also bring in recipients with a tap on the Add button to the right. This is going to present contacts that are saved in my Contacts app that have an email address assigned to them. Just tap on one to add it. Below the To field, we can tap to expand the CC, BCC, and From fields. These stand for Carbon Copy and Blind Carbon Copy. The CC field is a good place to enter names or addresses for those that aren't the main recipient of the email, but you still want to have a copy. Those in the BCC field will get the email and see that it's from me, but won't see who else I sent it to as long as their address is in the BCC field. Tap in the From field, and I can switch from sending this with my iCloud account to my Google account. Obviously, this is only going to work if you have multiple accounts set up in Mail. So I'm going to enter my recipients that I need in each field, and then send this from my iCloud account. For the subject, I'll enter iPhone Macro Contest. For the main body of the email, I'm going to paste in some text that I already have. To liven it up a little, we can adjust the text style. To do this on the iPhone, I need to tap this arrow button above the keyboard, which will bring up several buttons. These are already visible above the iPad keyboard. So from left to right, we have Attach Photo from the Photos app, Take a Photo to Attach with the device's camera, Adjust Text Styling, Attach File, Scan Document, and Markup. I'm going to tap the text formatting button and make the text in the body of this email a little bigger, blue, and I'll switch the font to Markerfeld. Next, let's attach a couple photos to this message. Depending on where the images are saved, we'll either want to tap the Attach Photos button or the Attach File button. In this case, the images are saved in my Photos app, so I'll tap Attach Photos. This brings us into a mini Photos browser. From here, we can quickly tap on images to add them, or tap All Photos to expand the browser. From here, I can browse the entire library, view albums, or do a search. Tap on an image that you want to attach. Once the photos are attached, I can use the image size options here to reduce the size of the attached images. Currently, actual size is selected, which will send the images in the highest quality, but they'll also take up more space and potentially take longer to send. Switch to large or medium to make sending faster, but reduce quality somewhat. On iPhone, we won't be able to adjust the image size options until we send the email. To attach an image or another kind of file, tap this button. From here, we can browse all the files stored in the Files app on this device or within iCloud Drive. I'll attach one PDF and one other image.
Tap the camera button to open the camera app and take a photo or video. One shot, tap Use, and the photo is then attached to the email. Use the Document Scan button to utilize the camera to quickly attach a paper document into the email. Notice that I don't need to tap the shutter button. The iPhone recognizes the document and scans it automatically. I can do this with multiple pages if needed. And finally, we can tap the Markup button to create a sketch to attach into the email. When you're ready, click the Send button, which is represented by this blue up arrow. Sent emails are saved in their own mailbox within the account that they were sent from, which in this case is my iCloud account. If we tap on the Cancel button while composing an email, it can then either be saved as a draft or deleted. Saved drafts are also saved within a mailbox, which we're going to be covering next.